1940s, Thomas DeLorme created a training method divided into sets, in which the weight used was reduced for each set and the number of repetitions maintained, then repetitions. He proposes a progressive resistance exercise program based on 10 repetitions maximum where subject begins sets of training by performing the first set of 10 at 50% of 10 RM, the second at 75% 10 RM and the third, final, at the 10 RM. This same author suggested that pre-overloaded a muscle by increasing the magnitude of the weight against which the muscle developed tension. In opposite was created the Oxford technique in which the full 10 RM was the first set and the subsequent two sets were reduced to 75% and 50% of the 10 repetitions maximum. Because of the limited amount of research available, this study was conduced to examine the effectiveness of the DeLorme's versus Oxford methods of resistance training on strength performance and muscle adaptations. To this end, muscle strength gains and the activity of CK response were examined before and after four weeks of each method of RT program in young men. After a warm-up, jogging and stretching, they performed three sets of 10 repetitions of the half squat exercise. In accordance with previous randomized process, DeLorme group started their first set of 10 repetitions at 50% of 10 RM, the second set of 10 at 75% of 10 RM, and the third set of 10 at 10 RM. The Oxford group performed their sets in the reverse order of 10 RM, 75% of 10 RM and 50% of 10 RM. A rest interval of 7 days after the 10 RM testing was provided to the subjects. At the end of 4 weeks of training, the same muscle performance tests for strength evaluation were employed. A post-training 10 RM were done to determine if a gain in strength occurred. As an experimental control, the director of both the pre- and post-strength testing was blinded as to the training assignment, Delorme vs. Oxford, for each participant. In accordance with Fisch et al. 2003, the results of present study displayed the same absolute strength gains independent of the Delorme or Oxford method utilized. The strength gain is important for many protocols as athletic performance, disease prevention and rehabilitation exercises. The options of training method can attend the personal preference of athlete slash patient because the strength gain is equivalent. Muscle damage markers, creatine kinase and lactate dehydrogenase, varied similarly in both methods, e, there was no difference between the enzyme activities induced by the DeLorme and Oxford methods. Results of this study show that there were no significant differences between the DeLorme or Oxford methods of residence training on muscle performance or on serum enzymes activity responses over a four-week period. Each method of training resulted in significant, but comparable, muscle strength gains and a low risk of injury. Thus the choice of one or another of these RT methods is acceptable for moderately active men.